say that this was the big one uh, for you, for the group. You got the win. How big is that for you tonight? Big. Um, probably instills a bit of delete. Uh, delete. A bit of belief for us moving forward. Um, played somewhere near our capabilities with the ball. Wasn't spot on, we were a little bit sloppy. Um, and look, we got some. I'm not going to. don't have to talk about them, I mean, really do either. So we also had on screen some pretty poor decisions, um, I thought. And we managed to overcome them because emotionally they can, they can sap you. Um, we overcame them. Um, some bodies busted. Ben Kavanagh shouldn't have been out there after 10 minutes. Put his hand up, tough to out for the team. So I couldn't be proud of him. Um, but yeah, the main thing is instilling a bit of belief in there. And look, that we're nowhere near his best. We were still waiting to go to get that. But it was good enough good enough tonight. And we'll take that. Next one's the big one, though. Uh, Batley. Look, I've played in a couple of teams. We've played in big games. And it's normally the week before when you're not at the races. So next week is the big game. And um, we'll move on to that quick. You, there's nothing you can't downplay how big this is for the club. I mean, we all know the rivalry between Halifax and Bradford. To get the win, we saw the fans at the end. Of it. I know what you're saying, the challenges that you have, but it is. Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, it's massive. Um, Bradford have had the bragging rights for a very long time, and um, each time you get the opportunity to brag over them, it's, it's a big one for our fans. And again, it still has a bit more belief in them moving forward as well. Um, it's nice to have them here in decent numbers, and certainly in good voice, they're very loud. Um, and hopefully, we can, we can build on that and give a bit more to shout about. You, uh, you've talked a lot since you've come in about top five behaviours. Um, that looked like a top five game in intensity and the pattern of the play. So were you pleased with how you stuck with it? And yeah, then behaviours, like most things, like like good habits, you build them, don't you? They don't, they don't just fall in overnight. Um, week on week, it's getting better. There's still a bit of room to do, but tonight, I think everyone, I couldn't doubt anyone's effort, let's put it that way. Everyone did their absolute utmost for, for themselves, each other, the shirt on the back, which is all you, all you can ask for. It's the gloss on top, which is... Um, which is the big one for us. We come up with some silly players and put ourselves under a bit of needless pressure towards the end of that game. Um, a bit of, I'm, I'm shouting down, low risk, low risk, get to our kicks. Then we start firing balls out everywhere. I'm like, where were that when we were behind it, you know, earlier on in the game? So, now we're building and it's, it's not stardust over the top, it's not magic dust. It's going to take time to be consistent and that's the challenge now. We'll probably put the bar up a bit from where we've been and we have to, um, have to meet that now. Did you uh, have to calm the players down a little bit at half time? I imagine they were feeling a bit aggrieved with some of the calls that went yeah. in. Um, yeah, they were a bit a bit peeved to be honest, but you know, some experienced heads in that room, um, which I didn't have to talk a great deal. They knew exactly what happened, just listened to the conversations, I just reaffirmed where they were at. But it's one of them other days you get decisions, other days you don't, and as much as I have, and I mentioned it here, I mentioned it on TV there, that I thought we were on the end of some rough ones, um, somewhere the touch is, is half a metre away and you can't see it, which is pretty poor in my book, but it is what it is, another week we'll get them, well, we, we'll get them tries we probably shouldn't have had and so on, so it'll all be swings and round routes in the end. You made some big calls in selection, um, Ben White's been playing very well the last couple of weeks, he moved out for Jamal Bernard of Iris, um, what you had, uh, your brother come in. Uh, how do you feel all those moves came in QLT back at fullbacks? Yeah, obviously there's a lot to say about it if, if it doesn't come off. Uh, we got the points and that's you know, I can walk out and look those lads in the eye and say I think I made the right call. And um, look, they're the tough decisions we need to have. We need to have competition, we need to have people playing well to make sure that th that thirteen, seventeen that take the field that are ready to go and they know if they don't do the job, someone else is ready to go. Um yeah it was it was difficult this week. Last few weeks it's probably I wouldn't say picked itself, but been very close to just in terms of the bumps and everything else. And having those conversations with lads who had classes mates, reasonably difficult, but you know they've all handled them, handled them really well. And we go back again now and reassess everything. None of them are out of the team and gone and out of Halifax shirt for good. You'll see them again definitely. Um, but it'll be up to me as and when. Four wins from four. You've got a fancy that the. Uh the job's yours now if you want it. Yeah, that's a conversation that is, we're almost there on that. Um, and I'm really proud to, I'm representing my town as a player, representing my town as a coach. And obviously the bigger one for me is leading that group. Um, as I said, they are mates, um, but I, I see on a day-to-day, -day, week to week, I have for the last few years what they're putting in and what they're putting for each other. Uh, and they're, they're a pleasure to be around, as you know, like you've been out with them a few times. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> 
done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it a little bit odd having to uh, pick your brother in there? No, no, all, listen, it, the odd bit and difficult bit was, was letting Ben White know after putting in two very good performances that he didn't make the team. Um, but reality is, I didn't bring Scott here with 400 games of experience to sit and stand and watch mm. he's come to play. And that were that was a difficult call, but again, the proof's in the pudding, so to speak. We got the points and it worked out all right. He was pretty good for us, I thought. Stepped up at the right time. There's just them timing issues that always come with joining a new team and so on. Um, <coughs> Jesus, that all the way in there. <coughs> Sorry, I normally do three. <laughs> No, we're not got it. Um, no, he's he's been great for us. He's a very good communicator. Which, if you're going to play at the top end of rugby league for a long time, you have to be good at a particular position like fullback. And I find it calm and influence on us. And um, obviously, Morel, K, yeah. the list goes on. Fairbank all stood up for us tonight. But to answer the original question, it's not weird. He's, he's my brother. He's my, one of my best mates. But it is what it is. He's, he's come to do a job, and he'll do it well for us. You mentioned, you mentioned bragging rights. Is there a fear within the group that you might have aggravated this week in Tiger looking ahead of Fortnite and that Bradford will have a point to prove one, one put the record straight maybe in Fortnite? I'm not really interested in how Bradford feels to be honest. Um, look, they're not asleep in Tiger. They're a Bull, Bulls team who have just beat Leeds. So they're the ones who are, who are flying high at the minute. Yeah, we've probably brought, maybe they were they might have, I wouldn't have said they look past it because that's not John Keir's style it's all about the game at hand and they didn't come here and look like they weren't bothered did they they came to play and we matched them and so, so we earned that win and when we come together again whoever earns it and whoever generally deserves it because you normally get what you deserve in the end we'll, we'll come away with that point as well but, sorry into the next round spoke a few weeks ago about the goal line defence and getting it back to where it was a couple of years ago. Do you feel you're not far off now? Well, we're on his way there. There's still a bit to do, but we certainly looked um, a controlled desperate, I'd say. That's, that's kind of how it needs to be. Um, that's your livelihood, that line. Um, it's a bit my livelihood as well. Um, and they have got, they have always had pride in it, but look, sometimes things just get a bit off track where they need to be and we're just shunting it back on, shunting it back on track. Just 